Hello, welcome to this video. It's Leonard here from DetailLeonard.com, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to set up um, a VPS on your Windows computer. Okay, and the essence of this is for those of you who have script that you want to automate your um, COTPS um, trading, arbitrage trading. You want to automate it two four seven without you know. Um, getting to lose some hours whenever you shut down your system then the best way to go is to set up a VPS all right uh, VPS is always running there 247 even if you shut down your system uh, it will always run there for you so I'm going to walk you step by step on how to set it up in this video so the link um, to purchase this VPS is in the video description okay so once you click on the link it brings you to this page this is the page where it brings you to now when you come in here you want to use go for this us um, windows vps option okay this is the option you want to go with and then you go ahead and click on choose plan so when you click on choose plan you'll see you have all of these different um, plans right here okay we have the small box we have the medium box we have the window um, the wow box and then the deluxe box so you go ahead and choose whatever option that you want to go with okay um, here you have one core CPU and then here you have uh, two core and then two giga RAM four giga RAM so these are all the specification these are this is why the prices are different um, with my own experience actually um, this should serve if your aim is just to automate your you know if your aim is just to automate your crypto um otc um trading platform okay so you can go with this option all right so to go with this option or you can increase it to the nine dollars this is going to cost you this payment so you just go ahead and click on order now okay so once we click on order now it brings us to this page and here you are going to select how you want to pay okay so if it is um, the uh, billing circle if it is three months you want to pay whatever it is if i click on the drop down here um you see that they have um, well as at the time i made my own pushes there were there was a monthly plan here okay i don't know maybe whenever you are doing this the monthly plan will come back but right here they only have um, the three months the six months and then the 12 month plan okay um, so the monthly plan is longer no longer here but as at the time i did mine the monthly plan was there so if you want to do for three months you know that it's seven by three that will cost about 21 bucks uh, in three months um if you want to do six months it will cost you six dollars and then for 12 months it costs you five dollars 83 cent so just go ahead and select whatever option that you want okay um once you select the option you want you want to go ahead and fill in all of these informations all right so you go ahead and fill in this information and then input a password here you can go ahead and create a password because this is what you'll be using to log in to your account and then on the operating system type just click on it and select 2019 i'll show you how to change it to 20 um select 20 system because that's the option you have here but while we're setting up the vps i will show you how to change this from 2016 to 2019 all right so after that once you fill in all of this information and then the password you just go ahead and click on continue okay so you can go ahead and, and save this information if you want and uh, you know for you to always remember it and so on so because it is a monthly uh, three months um, circle billing that was selected it means that it costs us 21 dollars all right so if you have any promo code you can add that here but if not you just click on checkout okay so you just click on checkout all right once you click on checkout it brings you to this page where you need to add your first name your last name your phone number okay just click select your country wherever country you are select your country and then put in your phone number and fill in all of these details your address and then account um, security go ahead and put a password and then confirm the password you can use this password generator to actually generate the password if you want all right after you finish filling all of these details you go ahead and click on 
any of the payment method you want to pay if it is stripe this is going to use your credit or debit card if it is bitcoin they are going to pay with bitcoin if it is paypal or perfect money just select any payment method you want to pay with and after that um since it is a stripe that is selected it means that you put in your card details and expiration date and then the cvc um code okay after that you just go ahead and click on the um, click on complete order here all right you check that you are not a robot here and then you click on complete order so once you click on complete order the account will be set up for you all right an account will be set up for you and after that account is set up for you an email will be sent to you you receive about three different emails um, but out of these three different emails one is what we are concerned with and that one is the one that concern that um, contains the username the link to where you are going to create your own um, vps account okay and then the password to log in to that platform all right so that is the email we we are concerned with and that is what i will show you how to do in the next step all right now once you make payment successfully you are going to receive the uh, one of the email you are going to receive will contain your vps information so if i open it up I will receive the address to log in, um, the username and the password. So we'll just click on this address here. It will open up in a separate tab. Once it opens up, the password and the username that was sent to you in that email, you're equally going to input it here, all right? So once you input in the password, you click on login, all right? So once we log in, it will bring us to the interface where we can go and create the VPS, which is here, okay? Um, you can go ahead and save your password if you want, but if not, just ignore that and then you click on this icon here okay to create a vpn we'll just click on that icon so once we are on this interface we are going to click on where it says create vps at the top right hand side so create vps we we'll go ahead and click on that um to be able to create the vps so on this interface here, the, the first thing you want to do is to check where it says generate host name automatically okay click on that and that will go ahead and do that so the next one is to select this is where you change from 2016 to 2019 make sure you select the operating system to be 2019 okay next thing is to put in password and then click on next it's a new password you're going to put there okay so click on next and uh, once you click on next um on this interface you just scroll down and click next again you don't need to do anything here click on next and then on the next interface again you are just going to click on next all right so once we go ahead and click on next 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 we just allow the system to build this for us okay so we just go ahead and allow this to build this for us and after that just scroll down scroll down and click on finished once you scroll down you go ahead and click on finished okay so once you click on finish the this is going to take time a bit a little time okay to build the vps for us so as you can see here it will just go ahead and build in a machine for us and after that we can copy the information we need to be able to connect and start automating whatever platform we want to automate two four seven all right so just give it time to build in this um, vps machine as you can see it's progressing okay um so it is actually progressing let's just wait for it to finish building okay so you got to be a bit patient here right so um if you don't want to go through the stress of you know doing all of this we can help you do the automation okay just sign up um for the crypto otc platform and let us know and then we can you know help you automate it automatically for you but you pay a monthly fee that that comes with it okay all right so we are about there let it go ahead and click and create this for us okay all right that is it the machine the vps machine has been created for us and the next thing we need to do is just to you know go to where say network and click on it click on network and when it opens up we're going to copy the server address where it says server address that is the address we're going to, to copy all these numbers so just copy it and once you copy this number the next thing you want to do is to go to your own computer click on your start menu and then search for the remote desktop um, connection so just click on remote uh, desktop 
and click on the first file option that you see there to open it up so this is where we are going to use to connect to the vps so all i need to do the address will copy just paste it here and then click on show more when you click on show more you can just give it the name here as administrator okay just give it the name as administrator and then um after that just check the next box here okay check it there and then click on the connect once you are done with it just go ahead and click on connect and when you click on connect there is um an error dialog box that will pop up okay just go ahead and you know show do not show for this again once in your to in your this okay just click on yes and then once you click on yes okay once you click on yes it will prompt us to put in a password now the password you are going to put is the one you created when you were creating your vps okay after selecting the operating system you created the password so that password is the one you are going to add here after that you click on okay all right so it will go ahead and connect to this system for us it's connecting and uh, that is it so you can see that it has connected and it's creating the vps already for us okay so this is a separate machine from our own personal computer it means that even if we shut down our computer this will continue to run whatever program we are putting into this uh, vps it will continue to run 247 okay to be able to shut this system that we need to go to the website where we bought the vps and you know just shut it down all right mine comes with chrome if yours do not come with chrome make sure you download chrome because you will need chrome to be able to run the crypto otc trading platform uh, script that we're going to provide for you okay mine comes with a chrome already so if not whatever browser that yours comes with go ahead and download and install chrome okay with that said the next thing i want to show you is how to install java 8 okay so we go ahead and go open up the chrome and then go ahead and type java 8 and you will look for where it says java download for all operating system okay java download for all operating system is the one you want to select so um we go to that option um which one which this one that says uh java downloads for all operating system that is the one we're going to click on okay all right so i'll just um scroll down okay and then click on this one so just go ahead and click on it and once it opens up let it open once it opens up you want to scroll down all right um scroll down i think the page is still loading so okay scroll down here and click on this uh, this option that says uh download for 64 bit okay or for offline so you just go ahead and click on it to download as you can see it's downloading once you finish download we just click on it to install it all right so it has finished downloading and the next thing i need to do now is just to click on it you see where it downloaded here okay down there just click on it to install the java on your system and that is it just go ahead and click on install okay so it's installing installing so after the installation is done we go ahead and click on close and then we can set up the script